Hello, my name is Bruce Elgort and I will be your instructor for this video tutorial on installing and configuring WinSCP. In this video, we're going to be talking about what is WinSCP. And then we'll move on to, well, what if I'm using a Macintosh, Bruce? Which software should I be using? Then we'll talk about where to download the WinSCP software from. Then we'll move on to installing the actual software. And we'll wrap up by showing you how to connect WinSCP to the Clark CTEC web server. So let's get started. What is WinSCP? Well, the name comes from the three words, Windows Secure Copy. And as you can see in the slide, the highlighted letters, right, in the word Windows, the S in Secure, and the C in P in Copy, that's where the name comes from. So what do we mean by copy? Well, WinSCP allows you to transfer or move files from your PC to a web server. And in this class, that web server is going to be the Clark web server, better known as uh, ctech.clark.edu. And I'll be covering that later in this video. It also allows you to take files that you have placed on the Clark web server and move, copy, or transfer them back down to your PC. WinSCP, it's a free program. It's what we call open source, uh, which means that the source code is available to others to actually see the code right, that the software was written in. And it runs on Microsoft Windows. Okay? There is no version of WinSCP for the Macintosh. Okay? And I'll talk about that uh, shortly. Okay? You will use WinSCP to upload your assignment and quizzes, yes, I said quizzes, to the Clark CTEC web server. As I mentioned earlier, if you're using an Apple Macintosh computer, WinSCP is not going to run on your Mac because it's a Windows program. So you will need to stop this video and watch the video entitled Installing and Configuring FileZilla. So like I said, you can stop the video right now and go and find that video and watch it. We're almost at the point where we're going to be installing the WinSCP software, but before I show you how to do that, I just want to talk through the slide if that's okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log into Canvas at https clarkcollege.instructure.com. I think you know how to do that already. The next thing I want you to do is go to modules in the left navigator in the left sidebar and then locate the important resources section. Then you're going to click on the list of useful resources link and you're going to then click on the CTEC 122 class web page. And if I were you, I would really bookmark that page. OK, so let's get started uh, by downloading and installing the WinSCP software. Starting from your Canvas shell, I want you to click on the modules link on the left here in the left navigator and then go to the important resources and then you'll see here quick list of useful resources by the way if your section is collapsed as we say expand it clicking on that little triangle and then click on this quick list of useful resources link there's a tongue twister for you and the first item in the list is called ctec 122 class web page now as I stated earlier, you want to go to this page and bookmark it, okay? Because you're going to refer to it over and over again, okay? Now, if you scroll down here, you'll see on the right side, it says Course Resources. And over here, it says WinSCP for Windows Downloads. Let's click on that. And that takes you to the site where WinSCP is available for download, okay? Now, the current version as of this video is Windows, uh, 
win SCP 5.74, just realize that they do update the software and the version that you download will probably, probably be this version or one that's higher. Now click on the installation package right here and that's going to auto download in a few seconds here the win SCP software. There it goes. Now, my browser is Chrome, and it's telling me that, hey, you know, this type of file can harm your computer because it's a Windows executable. So I'm going to keep it because I know that this is a trusted site where the WinSCP software is available. And the software is now uh, downloaded uh, in its entirety, and, and now I'm just going to double-click on it to launch WinSCP. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is select a language, and I'm going to select English. The next thing, it's going to just present you with what it calls the setup wizard, and I'm going to click on next. I'm going to uh, read through the license agreement and make sure I agree with all this uh, legalese here, which I'm sure I do, because I know you all just click through it without reading it. Uh, so let's click on accept and go with the typical installation. Don't go with the custom installation at this time, and then hit next. Okay. Now, the other thing you want to do uh, is go with Commander uh, Interface Style, the Commander User Interface Style, and not the Explorer. Okay, so click on Next, and then click on Install, and magically the software will be installed. Okay. Now, you're probably not going to get this dialog box because I, I had the software installed previously. I had to un uninstall it. So I'm just going to say no here. And I'm also going to um, unclick the getting started page. And then I am going to, however, click on the launch win SCP uh, checkbox here. And I'm going to click finish. And now you can see that WinSCP has been launched. Now I'm just going to close the browser window here. And before I show you how to use the WinSCP software, connecting it to the Clark CTEC web server, I need to go over a couple things. Before you can connect to the Clark web server or any other web server for that matter, you're going to need a few things. The first thing you're going to need is something called a host name. Okay. Now the host name is the address of the computer or the server, in this case the web server, that you're going to want to connect to. And the name and address of the Clark web server is ctech.clark.edu. That's the text inside of the quotes. You don't type the quotes, but you type in ctech.clark.edu when you're asked for the host name. Secondly, you're going to need a username. And your username is going to be the first part of your Clark student email address. That's going to be everything to the left side of the ad sign. The last thing you're going to need is a password, and your password is something that your instructor may have sent to you, or you'll be receiving an announcement about how to obtain your password uh, to the ctech.clark.edu web server. So now that we know about hostname, username, and password, let me show you how to connect to the Clark web server. So let's continue on now and connect to the Clark web server. The first thing I want you to look at here is the session area right here, this big area over here. The session means the particular connection that we're going to make between your PC and the Clark web server. Now, the file protocol okay, is the way in which, the specific way in which your computer or the WinSCP software for that matter is going to communicate with the Clark web server. And the particular protocol as we call it that we use is called SFTP or Secure File Transfer Protocol. Now this, F this SFTP protocol uses a particular port number numbered 22. Don't change this number. 
okay you will not need to just remember though if you do change it by accident the port number is 22 so as we covered earlier you need a host name and the host name of the Clark web server is ctech I'm gonna do my lowercase ctech.clark.edu okay the username that you're going to enter is your username and that happens to be everything to the left of the at sign in your Clark student email. Mine's a little bit different. Mine is just B Elgort without any dot. Yours most likely has a dot. And then I'm going to enter my password for the CTEC server. And again, your instructor probably gave this to you. And if they have not, there'll be an announcement in Canvas made about how to obtain your password. The next thing I'm going to do is click on save here because I don't like retyping things over and over again. And I'm going to tell it to save my password for me. Uh, and I'm going to click OK. Now, when I saved it, it saved it here uh, in the uh, list of sites. OK. Now, when you become a more experienced web developer, you'll probably be working with multiple websites. And, you know, this area here is used so you don't have to remember all of the information to connect to each specific web server. Okay. You can go back, by the way, and edit this information anytime you want, but most likely you won't have to. So now I'm going to click on the login button and it's going to try to connect and you'll get a dialogue here. Uh, you can read it if you want, but you want to accept the yes uh, option here on the left hand side. So click on yes. And now I want to also click on this checkbox down here. Never show the banner, this banner again. And I'm going to click on uh, continue. And now it's going to connect to the Clark web server. So here I am. This happens to be all the files in my uh, on my drive in my on my computer here and on the right side you'll see something here called public HTML this is the folder where all of your files are going to get installed well not installed but you're going to use WinSCP to move files into this folder and subsequent subsequent subfolders for your assignments and quizzes and other work in HTML fundamentals. So here's what I would suggest. Go back, replay this video, make sure you have WinSCP configured correctly, that you can log back in after you configure it the first time, and that you can see the public HTML folder here and your files on your computer on the left hand side. If you have that, you're good to go.